In this overview, for financial analysts and chief financial officers, we'll show you the highlights of simulations. Unlike limited, single-point analysis based on just one estimated value for unknown inputs, simulations let you assign a range of uncertainty values for unknown inputs, so you can identify the range of likeliness that they'll occur. This enhanced insight helps you best determine how uncertainty in your model affects your bottom line accounts. For example, instead of simply predicting a forecast of 500,000 in net income, use a simulation to aggregate ranges of uncertainty assumptions in your model to more accurately forecast a 70% chance or higher of reaching 500,000 and a 30% chance of not reaching 500,000. This key insight into the range of possibilities and probabilities in your model optimizes decision making. With simulations, you can automatically model and visualize hundreds of what-if scenarios, get a clearer view of potential worst and best cases, identify the probability of meeting specific target goals, and understand how key inputs, especially uncertain ones, affect your bottom line. Let's explore the expansion scenario in the model for a sales division. The income statement lists the accounts that track the revenue drivers and expenses that impact the bottom line. As part of forecasting overall sales in the upcoming year and identifying the likelihood of reaching targets, let's see how simulations help you better identify and visualize the impact of revenue drivers on forecasted sales revenue. Without a simulation, you're limited to performing a simple and error-prone what-if analysis by entering your best guest estimates for uncertain input accounts, such as a 10% growth for unit volume, a 12% growth rate for services revenue, and 24 million in maintenance revenue. After recalculating the expansion scenario, total sales becomes the new base case. You can try to identify profit and loss by predicting other values for these or other accounts, but with so many account combinations, you'd have to compile a huge amount of data to get an overall picture of profit and loss. More importantly, you can't identify the likelihood that the predicted values will occur. With a simulation, you can automate predictions, quickly visualize hundreds of different scenarios, and identify their likelihood. Begin by defining key uncertainty inputs like interest rates as assumptions. Assumptions describe the estimated range of values for unknown inputs and the likelihood that they'll occur. For example, to simulate the forecast of a sales account, you could define ranges for uncertainty assumptions such as unit volume, service revenue, and maintenance revenue. Assumptions are calculated based on the distribution you choose that best represents your knowledge of an uncertain input. Many uncertainties often follow a normal or log normal distribution. If you have a range of rough estimates, use a triangular, uniform, or beta pert distribution. For unit volume, you can use a triangular distribution to define a wide growth range, entering minimum, maximum, and the likeliest of values. For service revenue, you can use a normal distribution and estimate the mean and standard deviation parameters. In normal distributions, roughly two-thirds of the values occur within the mean value and standard deviation. If you only know the best and worst cases of maintenance revenue based on past experience, use a uniform distribution. After setting these assumptions, define the sales account as a forecast cell and run the simulation. The model is calculated hundreds of times using random scenarios created from the input assumptions. The final chart shows the range of forecast sales and their likelihood. There's only a 31% chance of meeting or exceeding the base case of 788 million. To predict the likelihood of meeting a stretch goal of 800 million, add this figure as a target value to the forecast. There's only a 17% chance of reaching the stretch goal. With this information, your business has a much more realistic view about the likely success of these expansion plans. In this overview, we showed you the highlights of simulations. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.